I'm WWE superstar Aaliyah, and today I'm speaking with the inspiring winner of Beyond Sport, Courageous Use of Sport Award presented by WWE. As a football coach for the Oscar Foundation, a community nonprofit in Mumbai, India, Zoya Siddiqui is a role model for children in her community. Zoya works tirelessly to share lessons of teamwork, discipline, health, confidence, and hygiene all through the platform of sport. Hi, Zoya. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you for having me here. I have to ask, what does winning this award mean to you? Winning this award is incredibly awesome to me. The moment when Sir told me that I won this award, I felt very overwhelmed. I was very happy at the same time. And the moment when I saw the Instagram post out there with my name right there, my country's name was written. So I was very overwhelmed. It is not just a recognition, it's a public recognition to me. So I was very happy. That's awesome. Now tell me about the community you are working with as a coach and what are you hoping to achieve with them through soccer? The community where I go is very conservative. They are here also family things that a girl is supposed to be at home, they're not supposed to play football. And I want to change this mentality of the parents staying here and I want the girls to play soccer. I want them to come out. I want them to know their opportunities, what their likes and dislikes and what they can achieve for them in the future. What do you enjoy about being a coach and a mentor? The most I love about being a coach and a mentor is that I learn and as well as I impart knowledge to the ones and the things I have learned from my mentors, from my coach, the life skills, the training on field, on field, the same thing I am getting a chance to teach to my toddlers, to my new ones. This is the one major thing I like about being a coach and a mentor. Zoya, you've achieved, you know, s such amazing things and, um, you know, you're a coach now. What is a day like for being a coach? I have to focus on children. I want to make them sure that their life skills are learning on field. They do on technical skills or anything. I just want to make their lives a better place to live in. And the major thing about coach is I want to turn them into a very incredible player. Like this is a major role for me that if they're learning anything, if they're learning one more thing, if they learn anything from me, that it will be a great success for me. You know, you've overcome a lot. Um, what is the most important thing you've learned on your journey to help you get to where you are today? The major thing I learned about is resilience. If you are going through a journey, there has to be a downfall. If there is no downfall, that means you are doing something less or something wrong is going on with you. But if you have a downfall and the most important thing is resilience, you have to get up, you have to work for your goal, you have to succeed. In. This is I the love that. Thing. I love that determination and passion and you want to inspire and help the next set of generation. And you know, that's awesome to hear. What do you see for yourself in the future? What is next for you? I want to become a sports psychologist. I'm hoping to be a nice sports psychologist. And as I have made my team in my community, I want to do the same in other community. I want to reach out to many girls as I can and to deliver the same lifestyle, same knowledge and to improve their lives as much as I can. Oh, wow. Those are amazing goals. You have an amaz amazing future ahead of you. I am so excited for you. Do you have any advice for other young people who are facing their own hardships but still want to make a positive difference in, for others in their communities? Never give up, stay determined and dare to start. If you don't start at any point, you won't reach to a goal. So dare to start, start from the beginning and take help of as many as resources as you can. That's awesome to hear. Well, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me today. Um, it was a pleasure getting to speak to you. Is there anything else you would like to mention? Yes, ma'am. Actually, the major thing I want to mention is the match where you won with the historic record of SmackDown, the, where you won in three wow. seven seconds. That was very incredible. And you have literally shown the epitome of never giving 
stuff and that match even the ref the commentators everyone were telling you to stop it don't fight by but then to you kept on you kept moving you fought and you won that was very incredible thank you thank you that means a lot and everything you said you know it, it's all about the climb and the journey and getting from point a to point b right thank you so much it was a pleasure speaking with you today thank you.